Hi, today I am doing a challenge which is kind of fun. It is you get a coloring book which is not a professional coloring book and you try to draw from it. So I am drawing this common mayana and I am selecting colors now. I am just selecting a bunch of browns and yellows and some greens obviously a black and white and also silver for the white areas now first starting off block in your shadows with the black colored pencil The shadows will be near the eyes, the yellow skin patch, and pretty much around the wing everywhere, and also the between of the feathers. So I'm not doing the feathers right now. The head is now the main, and the heads of the mana are generally black now the reference image meaning the image that you can see fully done is the one that is printed there this is a coloring book that I used in school and I like something about this coloring book a lot which is you can freehand a sketch underneath the printed image because yeah the line works in color er, coloring books they are pretty dark so making them hyper realistic is very very tough so if you can freehand underneath the main image it would look better Now, the black part is not completely black. It has many types of browns and silvers. The black is very shiny, so it must have, have highlights. And you can see me that sometimes I brush away the particles of the dust of the color pencil the brush I'm using is actually a makeup brush use a makeup brush to swipe away any particles that you who like if for instance if you swipe away the particles with your hands you can push down a little harder and it will stain the page so that's not you want. Just brush it away lightly with a makeup brush. Because they are very fluffy and soft. Now it comes to the brown part. The head doesn't seem to be that saturated compared to the body because the whole body of the bird will be a very very dark brown. The brown must be a warm brown. As you can see, you don't need to layer too much colors and you don't need to blend the colors right away. Just blend it wherever you can. And I don't have an indenting tool, but I had a fancy pen which never writes. So you can use that as an indenting tool, like I used.
The colors I used were canary yellow, Spanish orange, dark umber, light umber, and senia brown. These all are colors by Prismacolors and for the exceptions, the black and white, of course. And for that ground area, I used the dark umber, some black. For the white part of the bird, I used silver. And to create some highlights, I used cream, some greens, and, you know, any colors you like. You can change up the ground as you want. Now doing the eye is really tricky because you need to get your pencils as sharp as possible. You need to do it very sharp or the eye can be messed up. Now sharpening prisma colors may be hard for some people because they are very soft color pencils and they are pretty costly so you don't want to break them just sharpen them very gently and here you go a perfectly sharpened pencil now for the highlights on the eye you can use a white gel pen or the best is leaving the white highlights but if you miss a highlight which you did sketched but while coloring some color has got into the highlight you can use a white gel pen a white corrector pen even some white paint like gouache or straight from the tube watercolor but the control of the white gel pen is better Now, the yellow does have some shadows. For the shadows, use a normal orange color. A normal orange for very, very dark shadows in the skin and the beak. And the Spanish orange for shuttle shadows. The shuttle shadows will help to balance the color and saturate it. Doing the skin folds around the beak is kinda hard. You also need a sharp pencil for that. Now I think I will stop talking a lot and yes you do need an exacto knife for it.
exacto knives are always needed but if you don't have an exacto knife just use any small pointed knife which is very sharp just don't cut into the paper If you are still enjoying the video, please like and subscribe and I don't know why my comment sections don't open up, but you can tell me in my short videos.
the grass is kind of hard because the reference don't offer a realistic grass the grasses are too small for a bird the birds are about the size of a human hand i mean palm but here is all of you've been waiting for the drawing has been completed um i will show it now here